This is a short video demonstrating the repeater bus compatibility of the Bridgecom Systems TL controller and the Trident Raider LTR controller. For demo, we have here a two-channel UHF LTR system. Channel 1 is a BCR40U tied to a TL controller, and channel 10 is a BCR40U tied to a Raider controller. The TL controller is providing the repeater bus sync pulse. As you can see, the sync LED is lit on both controllers. I'm going to pull the bus cord from the Raider and you'll see that the sync goes away. And I'm going to put it back in and the sync pulse returns. Okay, so for test, I have each radio, a Kenwood TK3173 and a Motorola HT750LS for use on the system. They're both home to channel 10. I'm going to go ahead and handshake with the Motorola to channel 10 and you can see that it'll handshake with the Raider. Radio service test. And I'm now going to handshake with the Kenwood with the Raider. Check one, two. And as you can see, the Motorola, or maybe here, that the Motorola unmutes as well. Okay, so now I changed to a different group on the Kenwood to simulate two different talk groups. So I'm going to busy out channel 10. That's the Raider. And now we'll trunk over to channel 1 with the Kenwood. Check 1, 2. Now we've busied out the Kenwood on the channel 1. Now I'm going to let go of channel 10. And you can see that it's still keyed up, indicating that any mobile comes into service will get trunked over to channel 1. So I'm going to release channel 1. And now the system is quiet again. So now I'll key up again on channel 10, which, which I'm homed on, and it engages the Trident. So as you can see by demo, the TL controller and the Raider are repeater bus, slotted repeater bus compatible. You'll, all the information about this system is will be in the notes below the video. Thank you.